though I'm Jane Harvey and I'd like to jumpstart today talking about longing. What do you long for? What makes you happy? There is a quote in scripture that says, take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. I used to read that scripture and think, well, I delight in the Lord, but he sure isn't giving me the desires of my heart. I don't always have what I think I need. I mean, my heart desires for God to take my daughter's seizures away. I'm still waiting. My heart desired for God not to let my mom die. She did. How often does it seem like many of the desires of our hearts are often ignored? So what's the deal with that? Then one day, I'm doing homework for a Bible study on the Psalms, and they start talking about this exact subject. They do this kind of breakdown of the Psalm. The first part is the advice. The advice is take delight in the Lord. The second part is the result. The result is he will give you the desires of your heart. To delight is extreme satisfaction or great pleasure. To take delight involves not emotion, but choice. To turn away from other delights, focus on God's goodness and love instead. So I contemplated this and brought it to God in prayer, trying to figure out what this all means. The most important thing I learned is that when I follow His ways, my heart is content. When I focus on serving and not being served, I find authentic fulfillment and joy. My desires change from being surrounded in my own self-interest to having desires that are more aligned with what interests God. And I also have to trust that God is going to give me everything I'll need to sustain me through whatever His process may be. So today, let's ask Him to help us turn our hearts to Him, to focus on what we do and what we have, not existentially, which is relating to our human existence, but what we do and have with God. Then we pray every day for God's desires to become our desires. Are you making this a great day? I'm so glad. I'll see you next time.